Today's lesson is lesson 12.7, metric unit of mass and liquid volume. Our essential question is, how can you use models to compare metric units of mass and liquid volume? Please write this essential question down at the top of your Go Math book, and we'll be working on pages 233 and 234 tonight. If you notice that tonight's lesson we're focusing on metric units of mass and metric units of liquid volume. So on page 233 in your Go Math book, number one is asking 5 liters equals how many milliliters? Well, we need to go to our chart and we're going to be changing 5 liters to milliliters. Well, in 1 liter, there are 1,000 milliliters and I have five liters. That's what my question is asking me. So I'm going to use models to show how many milliliters would be in five liters. So I have one, two, three, four, five liters, and each one, remember, is worth 1,000 milliliters. So I'm going to put 1,000 in each one. So as I'm doing that, I'm going to count. I have 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000 and 5,000. So I know that 5 liters equals 5,000 milliliters. Or I could also say 5 times 1,000 and I would get 5,000 also. Let's look at number 2. Number 2 is saying 3 kilograms equals how many grams? Well, if I come and look at my chart, I know that one kilogram equals a thousand grams. So I have three kilograms. So I'm going to draw my three kilograms here. Each one is worth a thousand grams. One thousand, two thousand, and three thousand grams. That's also like saying three times one thousand. And three times one thousand is three thousand. So, 3 kilograms equals 3,000 grams. Let's go on to number 3. Okay, number 3 says 8 liters equals how many milliliters? Well, I know from my chart that 1 liter equals 1,000 milliliters, but I have 8 of those liters. So, what I'm really going to say is 8 times 1 thousand and eight times one thousand is eight thousand so there are eight thousand milliliters in eight liters now i want you to try numbers four five six and seven on your own and then i want you to press play when you're ready to go over the answers Okay, let's go over our answers. Number four, seven kilograms equals 7,000 grams because you should have said seven times 1,000 and that would have given you 7,000. For number five, you should have said that nine liters equals 9,000 milliliters because nine times 1,000 equals 9,000 milliliters. Number six, you should have said that two liters equals 2,000 milliliters because in one liter, I have 1,000 milliliters, but I have two liters and each one is equal to 1,000. So that would mean that I would have 2,000 milliliters. And for number seven, you should have said that six kilograms equals 6,000 grams because six times 1,000 equals 6,000. I hope you have the same answers as me. Let's go on. Okay, for numbers 8, 9, 10, and 11, we're going to compare our metric units of mass and we're going to compare our metric units of liquid volume. So for number 8, it says 8 kilograms is what to 850 grams? So we need to compare the two. Well, I know that I have kilograms and grams and I want to change my kilograms to grams. Remember we want to change to the smallest unit. Smallest unit is grams so let's change our 8 kilograms. So what I'm going to say is 8 kilograms equals how many grams? So I know that in 1 kilogram there are 1,000 grams so I'm really saying 8 times 1,000 and that would give me 
8,000. So 8 kilograms equals 8,000 grams. Now I want to see who's bigger. 8 kilograms, which is equal to 8,000 grams, or 850 grams. Well, obviously, 8 kilograms is much bigger than 850 grams. So I can say that this is greater than. For number 9, we want to look 9 liters. How does that compare to 3,500 liters? Well, I know that in 1 liter, there are 1,000 milliliters. So I need to change my 3 liters to, to milliliters. So in 3 liters, I would say 3 times 1,000, and that would give me 3,000. So 3 liters is equal to 3,000 milliliters. And I can see that 3,500 milliliters is greater than 3,000 milliliters. And it was just equal to 3 liters. So this would be 3 liters is less than 3,500 milliliters. Now, I want you to try numbers 10 and 11 on your own and press play when you're ready to go over the answer. Okay, let's go over numbers 10 and 11. Now, number 10 says one kilogram is what to 1,000 grams? Now, if I just look at my chart up here, it tells me that one kilogram, just like I have down here, is equal to 1,000 grams, which is 1,000 grams here. So I know that it should be equal to each other because my chart tells me. Number 11, five liters. How does that compare to 520 milliliters? Well, I know that in one liter, I'm going to change my five liters to milliliters. And I know that in one liter, there are a thousand milliliters. So I would say five times 1,000, and that would give me 5,000. So five liters is equal to 5,000 milliliters, which is a lot more than 520 milliliters. So five liters is greater than 520 milliliters. All right, let's work on some more practice problems. All right, let's look at our problem solving question. Number 12 says, Kenny buys four one liter bottles of water. How many milliliters of water does Kenny buy? Well, I, if you see here, I have four liters of water and each one is equal to 1,000 milliliters. So on your paper, on your Go Math book sheet, I want you to draw your four lines, which equals your four liters, since you don't have liters like I do here. And I want you to write that each one is equal to 1,000 milliliters. So each one is equal to 1,000 milliliters. So if you have 1,000 milliliters in each liter, then you're really saying that you have four times 1,000. And that would equal 4,000. So Kenny has 4,000 milliliters of water. Okay, number 13 says, Mrs. Jones bought three two kilogram packages of flour. How many grams of flour did she buy? So I'm definitely gonna use a model for this because it's saying that she bought three two kilogram packages of flour. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna write one, two, and that's the one of the packages. And each one has two kilograms in it. So here's another package and each one has two kilograms in it. And here's her third package. Each one, remember, has two kilograms in the packages. So each kilogram is worth, remember, 1,000 grams. So this one is worth 1,000 here. This one is also worth 1,000. So each one is going to be worth 1,000. So I'm going to write 1,000 for each of the packages. Remember, each package has 2 kilograms in it, and every kilogram is worth 1,000. So now all I'm really going to do is count up my 1,000s and see how many I have. 1,000, 2,000, 3, 4, 5, 6. So how many grams of flour did Mrs. Jones buy? She bought 6,000 grams of flour. Okay, let's look at number 14 in 
your problem solving questions. It says Colleen bought eight kilograms of apples and two and a half kilograms of pears. How many more grams of apples than pears did she buy? Well, I know that I have eight kilograms of apples and two and a half kilograms of pears. They want me to look and see how many more grams of apples than pears did she buy. So first I'm going to have to change my kilograms, both of them, to grams. And then it says how many more, which means you have to subtract. So try this problem on your own, and then we're going to press play whenever we're ready to go over it. Okay, let's go over our answer. So I have here that, remember, we should have changed our 8 kilograms to grams, and I did because 8 times 1,000 is 8,000 grams. And then I should have had 2.5 kilograms. Well, that should have got you 2,500 because if I have 2 kilograms and then a half a one here, well, 1 kilogram is worth 1,000 and another one is worth 1,000, and then half of one would be 500, because 500 is half of 1,000. Well, that equals 1, 2,000, and 500. So then I should have came over and subtracted my 8,000 minus 2,500, because that's what how many more means. Well, I have 0 minus 0 is 0, and then another zero. Now zero minus five, I can't do that. So I need to borrow from the eight, make him a seven in the thousands place, and make the zero a ten hundreds. So 10 minus five is five, and seven minus two is five. So she bought 5,500 grams more apples than pears. Number 15 says, Dave uses 500 milliliters of juice for a punch recipe. He mixes it with 2 liters of ginger ale. How many milliliters of punch does he make? So really, if he's going to mix two things together, we're going to say 500 milliliters plus the 2 liters. Well, I can't add those together because I have milliliters and liters. Let me change my 2 liters to milliliters because in the end I want to know how many milliliters of punch does he have. So 2 liters, I want to know how many millimeters that equals. When I know in every 1 liter there's a thousand milliliters. So really I'm going to say 2 times 1,000 and I will get 2,000. So 500 milliliters plus 2,000 milliliters. Now I can add them up to find out how many milliliters of punch he made. So I have 0, 0, 5, and 2. So Dave used 2,500 milliliters to make his punch. Here are your homework questions for tonight, number one and two on your Go Math page 234. Then I want you to come and do numbers four, five, and six also. Remember, we are skipping number three because we need a protractor and we might not have one at home. So just do numbers one, two, four, five, and six. When you get done with your homework, don't forget to assess yourself and tell me whether you feel like you're a novice, apprentice, practitioner, or an expert. And next to your assessment, can you draw me your very best smiley face again? Because I really loved seeing those. And good luck on your homework questions for tonight, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye!